What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And today we are talking about something very dear and dear to my heart and that is the customization system that I'd like to see in the career mode in Esports Box Club. The reason I'm specifying that and the main reason that I am focusing on the career mode is because I'm not pointing towards the look of your fighter, so the hair, beards, things like that. I was tempted to talk a little bit about tattoos and I might do. But we're pointing towards the fight gear, whether that be in the ring, in the gym. And that is what I'm going to focus on because I love customization, especially when it comes to what your character can wear. Um, that's something when it comes to video games that I hold very near and dear to me. And for me, that can kind of make a game enjoyable or kind of just like, all right, I'll play it just because. But with a good customization system and with good ability to wear all kinds of stuff, all kinds of colors, I feel like it really makes things interesting. This is under the assumption that everything in the career mode you have to pay for, obviously because in the career mode video, or the, the little snippet should I say that we saw, you saw a, a currency which was English money, you know, pounds, um, and this is under the influence you have to pay for them things with that money that you earn during fights, so shorts, gloves, robes, etc. You buy those things with money made in the fights. And one thing I don't want, unlike Fight Night, I don't want shorts or, or a top or, or shoes to be like 300 to 1,000 pounds. That's just not realistic, really, unless you're going to get diamond encrusted shorts. No pair of basic red and black shorts are going to cost you 300k. It's just it's just not, not going to happen. So I'd like the currency to be quite realistic in a sense, you know, have the shorts at reasonable prices and have the money that you earn at reasonable prices. And throughout the video, I will have photos popping up of things that I mean, so you guys get a rough idea of what's going on in my head. So obviously throughout the career, I'd like there to be a price range of shorts and gloves. Not everyone can afford the best gear right away. Some people will walk into the gym in Gucci slides and UK fly sports gloves at £250 a pair and that's fine but not everyone can afford that kind of stuff you know when I first started my first pair of gloves were 15 quid and they didn't bend properly they dug into my hand they were shy but that's what I had to put up with until I got a bit more money to be able to buy better gloves so then let's say at the start of your career you you know you go pro you got zero money for example um, you know, you've got your basic standard shorts, your low tier gloves, your single coloured mouth guards, you know, things like that. No robes, just maybe a t-shirt with a few little local business sponsors like you would have in a pro career. And maybe in a selection of six, seven, eight, nine different colours, you know, just black, just white, um, just blue, just red, just yellow, maybe a bit of black and white, uh, you know, just green, something like that. But then one thing I, I want to see as well, I know this is really nitpicky, I'm, I'm sure people won't agree with me, but I want it in the career where, let's say I buy some red gloves and I go, alright, I want these in this colour, yep, I finalise it, I pay for it. I then don't want to be able to have that them gloves in every colour. I, if I want a white pair of that gloves, that would cost me more money in real life. I couldn't just return them to the company and say, I want these in white now, alright, thanks, but I'll also keep my red ones. It wouldn't work like that, and I kind of want to be able to, every colour is a new pair of gloves, you know what I mean? Or, of course, maybe you pay a little more for the colour of your choosing. Obviously, you know, at a low price, you couldn't have nine different colours. You wouldn't be able to have a rainbow on it because that would cost a little bit more because of all of the, the variants of colours and what they have to mix. Then maybe with, you know, box and boots, it's slightly more expensive because they would be the same ones that you train most of the time. You train in the same ones you're going to fight in. So maybe at the start, you get a basic set of boots you would see at the gym all the time. I mean, the ones that I got, my Reebok ones, are not very common, but they weren't hugely expensive. I see a lot of people at my gym with like Venom, I think they're valued like 120, 140 pounds. But then when you get like the Nike ones, you are looking at 260, 180, you know, sometimes like 320, they can be quite pricey. Speaking of the gym, assuming there is a gym, of course, and you can physically train, whether you can or you can't, we don't know yet. Maybe there's a choice of training clothes, so your fighter's not always in his full boxing gear, you know, so he has some standard, you know, Under Armour shorts, a, a basic head guard, some 16 ounce gloves, some cheap old primark t-shirts for example that are just plain colors or you know maybe a a few sponsored t-shirts you know with like the money team on because you're a fan of floyd mayweather or whatever it may be for you know just an example when i was going to the gym i would wear like fabio wardley t-shirts or just plain black and white t-shirts because they were cheap it didn't matter if you know they got blood on or they were drenched right through it didn't matter because i could just bring few few t-shirts with me change out change back in and be fine with it so then let's jump forward to about midway through your career, for example. Once you made some sponsors, you could have them on your shorts, for example, like a lot of fighters do these days. Um, as well as maybe you've unlocked or you now have the ability. Maybe you don't even have to unlock them. Maybe they're always there, you just don't have the money. Maybe you have a wider variety of brands that you can now afford. Styles of shorts, boots, robes, um, things like that. You know, where you still get the selection of basic colours. You could change it a little bit. You know, but you're still at the midpoint. So you're not earning millions. You're just earning a decent amount where you can maybe have, you know, study across. You can have... Esports Boxing Club logo there and 
uh, Comby Box and Box Tracker, or you know, whatever the sponsors may be on the shorts. And this is where it was quite exciting for me to think about this. Let's say you can then you get to the point in your career where you can have fully custom fight gear. It would obviously be more expensive, but I want to be able to choose what style, what colour, what fabric, and then and then on top of that, maybe at the gym with your sparring gloves, you'll be able to have some of the gloves that have got uh, your stitch your name in, like some fighters do, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, I know they do for sure. I think that'd be awesome. And then for things like the colours, when you're choosing your own custom fight gear, you get the same option as the Fight Night Champion colour wheel. That's one of the only things they did right, I'll give them that. But like I said, after you finalise, changing the colour is not free, you then have to pay the full price again. And yeah, people will say, what if I make a mistake? Well, maybe they give you a few options. Are you sure this is the colour you want? Yep. Look at it again. Yep, finalised. Bing, you've paid for it. Job done. But then maybe when choosing your full custom fight gear, assuming you're not sponsored by one company in particular, you get a pick of all the brands, all the styles, gloves, boots, shorts, um, robes, mouth guard, groin guard, things like that. But then when it comes to shorts and robes, and more specifically shorts, you know, you get all sorts of fabrics from fluffy to silk to tassels with a range of add-ons like sequins and maybe even images that, you know, for example, Mayweather in the exhibition fight that he had over in Japan, I think he had um, loads of dollars uh, on his leg. Or even with robes, maybe you can have a top, but maybe it's a vest, uh, like a Kevlar vest. Dion, um, Dillian White had that. Or maybe armour, like what Deontay Wilder had. Yes, it would set you back quite a bit. Um, I won't get into the entrances too much, because that is an entrance thing. But for customization, I think that would be cool to not just have a t-shirt or a robe. Maybe you could have a Kevlar vest. Maybe you could have the armour like Wilder had. I think that would be really cool. And then even when it comes to shorts, maybe more unique styles. You know, above the knee, kind of short shorts. kind of. And then you've got the longer shorts that you can have like down midway past your shin. And then the, the Gladiator shorts, both styles with the with the big front like uh, the Adrian Broner style. Or maybe the slight, uh, smaller Gladiator parts where they're, you know, there's like four or five like six gladiator parts around the shorts a bit like um fabio wardley tends to wear but you know i think there's a lot of um opportunity for for greatness when it comes to the customization of how your fighter will look and fight gear specifically uh inside the career mode because you know you will, will not be able to afford the best stuff right off the start so you know maybe some things will have to be unlocked through sponsors i think i think it would also be good you know when you get certain brand sponsors you maybe can't wear other brands you have to think if you're a customization nerd like me you would have to think okay if I can only wear, I don't know, Reebok or I can only wear Nike or something, am I okay with that? Does you know? Because for me, that would be something I seriously think about. And I'd be like, am I happy with the shoes, the shorts and the gloves all being Nike? You know what I mean? So maybe it would be something like that you'd have to think about. But I think there's a lot of opportunity here. I think as long as they do things like the colours correctly and they, they give you a full opportunity of a colour wheel uh, as well as maybe different gear for the gym and for your fight gear. I think they're onto a home run straight off the bat with it to be honest. I think they've um, I think they'd smash it with that in all honesty. I don't I don't see anyone being unhappy with that, especially if you could spar in different gear. Then it would make sense where you could spar your friends with your creative fighters. I think that would be cool. And then you know when it comes to your fight gear of your of your creative fighter inside the career mode, you can change as often as you want. It will cost you money, but you can change as often as you want. You know, me, I will be at I'm the type of person that would change shorts every single fight because not really these days do you get fighters wear the same shorts fight after fight maybe back in the day yes but these days every fighter comes up with different shorts different materials and with how many unique styles of shorts there are these days we you know you've probably seen throughout you know when John Javante Davis wore the tassels or Mayweather had the kind of the, the fluffy shorts um you know Adrian Broner's weird gladiator thing which I don't really like by the way I just thought I'd put it there though because it's like a unique look you know, there's so much they can do, and I really hope they uh, they focus a lot on, on this kind of customization thing, because for me, I mean, you know, I'm not going to be one of those people that goes to them and say, you should add this, you should add this, you should add this. These are just my thoughts at the end of the day, and if they ever came to me and said, oh, you know, you're a customization dork, that's facts, yes, I am, do you want to help? Then yes, I would, of course, but... You know, I'm, I, at the end of the day, they know what they're doing. They are smashing the absolute cheeks out of this game. They know what they're doing. You know, they're all such great developers. And I'm sure I don't need to help them in any way. But I just thought, for a customization nerd, I needed to get some thoughts out, really, more, more importantly. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts as well, as always. I really enjoy that part. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to stop waffling here, guys. I could talk about customization all day. But I'm going to leave you guys to it. So, thanks always for watching. Have a good day. Leave a like, subscribe down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.